Hi guys, welcome, welcome to the kitchen, you guys. Uh, yep, have a seat on the crazy train. Here's my, my plan for tonight. So, handsaw. We're gonna pour on this handsaw blade. Um, obviously, it's a pour for a fellow. So I don't wanna girl it up too much. So I've tried to pick kind of blues and coppers and turquoises and stuff like that. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna bloom. I might. I might bloom or I bloom swipe or I'm not gonna do heavy modifications though because he's really, really like the guy's guy and won't like things all sort of chickified. Okay, so I've painted the handle of my saw and my saw blade is super rusty and I was worried that the rust might start to come through. So I just gave the rusty blade a coating of um, just a spray varnish. So I'm hoping that that is sufficient. I think it should be all right. So my base coat for the saw is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in black, obviously. Uh, and I mixed it with a generous scoop of the Ultra Deep Base and the Balance with Flow Troll until I kind of got it to the consistency that I want. So light is going to be of the essence tonight because I knew if I did this with my overhead light on that it'll be really glary, but the sun is rapidly leaving. So we're going to try to do this somewhat quickly. Okay, so I taped off the back because I don't want paint running through all these little teeth. I don't think. I might have to turn the light on you guys because I can't see. Okay. Um, 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 um. Quick torch. This is a fun little project, I think. Okay, a little bit. Oh, it's so flimsy compared to my tiles. It's like, ooh. It's hard to even tell how much paint I have on it. All right, I'm going to stop there. And we're just going to catch all these little teeth. I wounded myself tonight too, you guys. I cut myself with an exacto knife. It's like, oh my goodness. All right, my first color in this bloom, or bloom swipe, or, oh, I don't know what to do. All right, let's just do some bloomy type puddles. Is lime. And then my next color is a little bit of copper. Uh, this is just a folk art copper. And then golden phalo turquoise. Quinacrido Nickel Iso Gold, because it's like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, right? You can just put that BB on everything. That was a way, way too big of a blob there. It's my own fault. Okay, and then this is just a pretty pale blue. Kind of another one of my weird homemade colors. Let's break up some of these blobs of quinacridone because I got a little bit heavy handed there. All right, we're going to use black cell mix. We're actually going to put a little more lime in here. The lime is going to be the color that looks the best on the black, I think. And if we hate it, well, we'll just wash it off in the yard and start it all over again. All 
Okay, black cell mix. I'm actually going to blow this out one at a time tonight. There's our first flower. Okay, can you guys still see? Oh yeah, you're all right. I turned up the, the brightness on the camera because I knew it was going to get dark. But I didn't know if I turned it up enough. So hopefully it doesn't get really dark on you. Okay, here we go again. Still mix on this last one. Okay. How exciting is this? Okay, let's give that a minute. Right now it's looking really, really girly. So, like always, oh goodness, I just got lime paint all over my sweater. All right, we're going to swipe through it in, I actually think we're going to swipe through it in white. So, this is just my normal playing card. It's even a dirty playing card from last night. All right, let's do this. This is going to be the, the test. Can you do or can I do a bloom porn without, not porn, porn without it looking feminine? Because that's the last thing I want. Okay, let's do, let's just wipe that off before I make a bigger mess on the handle that I just painted. Let's do a little bit of tipping. This is heavy. I'm not used to, uh, I'm not used to the weight. That's for sure. All right, well, it's looking a little bit girly, isn't it? Okay, let's add some, let's add some swipes and the dark turquoise. That wasn't very good. I wish I had my Walmart black because my cell mix is all sinking, which is the artist loft. I thought I thickened it up enough, but I don't think I did. But we're going to keep going because it has some really pretty spots. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. Oh, I forgot my handle again. Good thing I sprayed it because it wipes right off right now. Just do some decorating. Okay, I'm just going to keep on playing here, guys. This is just black swipe. Now it's black swipe with lime green on it. Can you guys still see brightly? Oh, not bad. Okay, hey, it's pretty trippy. Not too girly, I don't think. I'm not totally thrilled with this one long, one long swipes. I think we might go back in with the white swipe or the black swipe. And do I want more green? Let's do turquoise. We're gonna put the turquoise on the paper. And then we're just going to come in here again. I don't know. I think I just did the same thing, but different. All right, um, I have to turn a light on because it's really getting dark for me to see. Hopefully, you guys are gonna get a big glaring spot, aren't you? Well, I have to see you guys, I can't help it. And we're going to tip, tip, tip until my paint stops moving. I need to do something with this little blue splot, well, big blue splot, big blue splot up there, I think. So let's, what are we gonna do? Let's just swipe it out with a little bit of black. 
can just break this up a tiny bit. I'm doing nothing more than adding a little bit of color here and there. That's all we're doing. Ooh, I like it. Almost at the end of stretching, guys. Come on, Beans. Go, go, go. All right, my friends, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just make, I don't even know if I want to make embellishments. I don't know if I just want to leave it alone. I think I do. I don't think I want to do anything to it. I got to get rid of a goopy bit right there though. If I can find my handy dandy tweezers. Oh, you guys, this was so exciting and fun. All right, I'm going to put you guys on hold for just a jiffy, and then I'll bring you down for close-up. And I don't think I'm going to modify I think because this is going on a guy's wall. I think I'm just going to leave this as is because I do get a little bit carried away. So, as you know. All right, pop you on hold. Here we go. Wherever the hold button is. I can't find the button, you guys. Okay, there it is. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, a really nice lady suggested that it would be nice if I went zoomed in and I could wipe off my drips. And if you're watching this video, that's an awesome suggestion. And I tried to do that, but it's too hard for me to hold the saw and change the paper out. So for tonight, we're going to just have to do the close up if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. That's better. Uh, just as is. Sorry for that glitch, guys. So here's my saw blade. No mods, lots of color, lots of bright color. And that's it. Nice black handle. So the handle I'm going to have to touch up again, but I'm going to wait obviously till this piece dries and sets and then I will resin it. And that's it. I may dry brush the handle a little bit. We'll see. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me on a, the crazy train tonight, you guys. Uh, it's always fun to pour in something different. This was a lot of fun for me, hopefully fun for you. So thank you, everybody, for joining me in the messy kitchen. Um, I will post a still on this on Facebook, as always, and I'll try to get it off the messy drips. All right, guys. Bye for now.